Hopefully you guys thought that thumbnail was cool. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. For those of you that are unaware, I review everything. So whether you're curious about the new movie, series, or show, come to my channel and I will let you know if it's worth your time. I want to become your go-to review guy. And today we're going to be talking about the new National Geographic series, Storm Rising. And if you guys think this video doesn't cover all the topics as well as you would like, you can also check out my review on my website, which will be down in the description below. But guys, let's jump right into my review of Storm Rising. So Storm Rising follows Reed, Timmer and Mike Tice who track down increasingly dangerous and violent storms. And they want to do a lot of research onto the topic of are storms getting more dangerous? What's happening with the weather? Is everything getting worse in regards to storms and cyclones and tornadoes and hurricanes? And they basically chase these storms. They're storm chases and they drive into these storms. They record the storms and they talk all of their scientific data, all the analysis that they get. So the scientists can take that information, study it, analyze it, and come to their own conclusion and their own findings with that information. And so it's a very unique series. You get to see storm chases in action and it gets hectic. It, it really does get hectic. It gets really intense. And that is the most enjoyable aspect of the series for me. But if you're someone that loves weather, this is also a really great series. I know that sounds weird, but I know for a fact that I love storms. I mean, I love storms. When it's thundering, I love driving in the rain. Hail is just the best. So I can understand their almost obsession. I mean, they describe what they have as an obsession, as an addiction to chase after these storms. I completely understand that. And what I enjoyed the most about the series actually is how they filmed it. In many ways, this feels like an incredibly extreme vlog. It's just the two of them and their cameraman going out and filming what they see. And at one point, it's in the first episode, I believe, they actually just send out a drone to film everything. And the drone gets caught up in the wind. And that's a very real thing that's happened to me, not with a tornado or a hurricane, but just the winds taking the drone, especially when you fly it over cliffs and they get caught in the wind. But it was very real in that regard. It didn't feel scripted ever. It was just guys living their life, chasing storms, trying to figure out what the hell is happening. And that's what's so engaging about it. It's real, it's exciting, and it's just about guys chasing their passions. And then of course, yes, if you are a film fanatic like myself who loves to know how everything is filmed, this is a great series for that as well. You literally see the cameraman in the car shaking as everything is going down. And you see the effects of storms like this on everyday equipment, like cars, vehicles, even drones, like you get to see that. So as a film fanatic myself, seeing the effects that the weather takes place on the equipment was incredibly exciting for me. But yes, at the end of the day, this is a documentary. It's an educational documentary. And are you going to be educated? Yes, you are. There's, there's a lot of information within this series. I've watched a lot of documentaries recently where I'm just sitting there going, I feel like I learned nothing. And that wasn't the case with this series. It's entertaining and enjoyable and educational. So it's definitely a series that you can watch and learn from while enjoying at the same time. But guys, if you really want to watch this series, then you're going to have to jump over to DSTV channel 101. It's every Thursday at 9. Guys, seriously, I had a great time with this series, and I hope you do too. But guys, thank you so much for watching this review. It really does mean the world to me. If you haven't yet, please, please, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video on my website, you can click on over on that little button that says watch on YouTube. Come subscribe to my channel there as well. And I hope to see you guys again in another review.